I want to talk to you about which foods and which fruits you need to eat when you want your body to detoxify and why. Because we want optimal health in a world where we're bombarded with toxins from every direction. It's not only about food, my friends. It's about our mindset, our thoughts, our toxic thoughts. It's about the Wi-Fi, the electricity. It's about chemtrails. It's about pesticides and herbicides. It's all around us. So to be able to cleanse, we really need to step it up. We need to go back to where we came from, to nature, and look at what food we're designed to eat. What is it? Fruits and vegetables. And believe me, mostly fruits. We're not supposed to thrive because of eating every single vitamin and mineral. We've been told to look outside for every part of what we think we're made of. We have a body that creates almost everything. All we need is clean, high vibrational foods and the body will take care of the rest. But first we need to get there. First we need to get the body to start eliminating and to start processing all those toxins. Clean everything out. Starting with the GI tract. Getting the kidneys to filter. What is impairing the kidneys the most, you might ask? Protein, protein, protein. First of all, of course, the animal source protein, which the body cannot even utilize. We have to break it down to try to find the amino acids then that we need to build our own tissue. Amino acids are building blocks. Protein from an animal isn't. It is the finished product of what that animal have been building. We need to build our own. Now, if you go to the plant kingdom, you'll eat those amino acids, those bricks readily available for us to build the new wall, the wall that we need. So never fear that you're gonna miss anything from eating fruits and vegetables. Not even lipids. From eating a, a diet high in fruits, you will eat more omega-3 than omega-6. I know this is controversial, but check it out. Check it out. And a diet high in lipids will never let your body detoxify on a cellular level. And detoxification leads to regeneration. Detoxification leads to hydration. Drinking water doesn't lead to hydration. Detoxification does. Getting the shit between the cells out. Getting the shit within the cells out so that they can hydrate. Plus, if you have a diet high in fruits, what do you think that's gonna be about? Yeah, high in liquid. So you're gonna hydrate with the most pure, distilled, electrified water there is. So if you're coming from a standard diet, meaning you're still on the meat and the eggs and the dairy and the grains, this is where you start. You start eliminating everything that comes from an animal kingdom. Now you step up to eliminating all gluten, then all grains, then everything processed, then everything cooked, and then you're left with what we call raw food. First of all, nuts and seeds are really hard to digest for the human body. That is why we need to soak them. They have enzyme inhibitors on them, meaning nature made them so that we would not be able to digest them. Nuts and seeds, heavy on your digestion. So from that alone, step away. Now the thing is this, the lighter you eat, meaning the less burden on the digestive system, the more you will be able to detoxify. Now, if you're feeding your body a high vibrational diet, like fruits and vegetables, say you take away the nuts and seeds, just for the digestion part, now you're left with maybe coconut meat and avocado, which is great. You know, it's, avocado is a fruit. So why would I say, which I'm gonna say, that if you want your body to detoxify, step away from all the fats even. Go with the high vibrational, high water rich fruits and leave the fats. 
if you eat fat and you eat sugar, even amazing sugar that every cell in your body needs from fruit, that sugar is not going to get to your cells because of the fat. So you should never mix fruit and anything fat, not even an avocado or the meat from a coconut. Lipids in a concentrated form does not go together with sugar in the body. So you will notice that if you want your body to really dig in and to start letting go of everything that's in there that you don't want, you need to let go of everything fatty. Avocados, coconuts needs to go. Stick with the high water fruits. Fruits in general, you could do that. You could even have some greens. But let them, let them be the leafy greens, the tender leafy greens. Vegetables like carrots, onions, broccoli, cauliflower, we do not mix with fruit. They have two different um, processes of digestion. And the vegetables will slow down the healing or detoxification process because of that. Now, why do I still say the leafy greens? It seems that they don't interfere in the same way. And I'm not talking about kale or any type of cabbage. I'm talking about tender leafy greens, peeps. You're understanding more that you need to stick to the fruits, only to the fruits, tender leafy greens, if you want your body to detoxify. Watermelon, grapes, the dark grapes, and the citruses are the most astringent fruits that we have. So astringent means pulling, pulling to the lymph system. So the more you go towards those fruits, the more you will cleanse and you'll feel that. Lemons being way up there, more astringent than an orange. And yes, lemons are very alkalizing for the body, although acidic in nature. They leave an alkaline ash. Now, then you have the more grounding fruits, which are more nurturing, like bananas, papaya, mame, you know, some of the soursop or, or, or heavier fruit, durian. They will not let you detoxify on that high level, and you'll notice the difference. Then you have the sub-acid fruits in between, like the apples and the pears, And they're great for digestion. They're high in fiber. But again, a lot to digest. Mangoes, right in between there. High water, high fiber, very healing. Now, what about juicing? So for someone that have a lot of digestive issues, that has trouble digesting food, might even have trouble digesting fruits, in the beginning, even though they are the lightest for the body to digest. So if you're one of them, yes, you could try juicing. So you can go to juicing, which is going to be great. Some people go to water fasting. You know I'm a, I'm a big dry faster, which is a completely different video. But this was just to give you an introduction of the why and the how with the fruits. I am a very great <laughs> lover and promoter of the citruses. For the longest time, I thought I couldn't do oranges. I could not even have one orange in a green juice without getting a tummy ache. It was too much for my sensitive, all damaged, not functioning digestion. I had ulcers for years, and I know this is a lot of you. As I went through my cleansing process and pulled out, pulled out, diligence, 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 never going to happen overnight, it's not going to happen over two nights, three nights, five nights, ten nights, it could take a long time, but it's the only way if you want to feel amazing. Now, for the longest time, I thought I couldn't do oranges, you know, it's like, oh no, I can't do oranges, they're too acidic for me, like I'm different. 
like a lot of you think out there. We have different bodies. We need different things. That's a lot of bull crap. We don't, you, we don't have different bodies. We don't need different things. We're at different stages at our health. We have different shit going on in our body with our health. That's the difference. We're made exactly the same. We're just different for our weaknesses. So, meaning, once we work through those differences, we are exactly the same. And we thrive on the exact same diet as every other species on this planet. They eat the same. So we'll talk soon. I love you. Bye for now.